Welcome, gamers, to the GAU Podcast. We are live from the Microsoft Store in the Prudential Center. I am Eric Rubino of Gamers Are Us. I am the ed head editor of the website, and we got a prestigious panel here tonight. Why don't we start on this side? Why don't you introduce yourself? Andy Lunique, event planner for Gamers Are Us. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. What what are you playing lately, Andy? Would you play today or yesterday? I won't lie. I am literally training up Spinal and Killer Instinct. I haven't put them down since launch. Go. It's been fantastic. Uh, some he's such a good tech character. It's been really, really addictive. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna get destroyed tonight. But still, I'm gonna keep it up. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 there's one thing I learned playing League of Legends is you will get destroyed, but you gotta keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of League of Legends, who is this gentleman to my right? Speaking of getting destroyed. <laughs> I'm Drew, a.k.a. What? <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Adamisk in League of Legends. I'm in charge of making sure that Eric's butt gets carried through every League of Legends oh, game he plays. Oh, oh. I'm a competitive League of Legends player, TF2 player, and eSports manager for a few years now. Here to shed some insight, drop some knowledge on you fools. And to my right... You got Gustavo Datsugo Rivera. That's who you have. Um, pretty much COD guy around these parts, Xbox <laughs> guy as well. Got to put some more articles up online, but definitely. Um, yeah, how you guys doing? Well, we have one more person. You can't see him, but he's an omnipresent force in Gamers R Us. He's it's, to our north, right? It's, I, I mean, I don't know if he's to our north right now. He might, I mean, I don't know. Where's Sochi? Alex Young, where are you right now? Where's Sochi? Is that, is that like north or south of us? <laughs> Well, he's there covering the Olympics. How are you doing? Yeah, if anybody's been carrying, it's been it's been Alex. <laughs> yeah, I remember that game, but uh, you're just not living hard I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, There's your problem. You're playing basketball. It's League of Legends. There's no paint. <laughs> <laughs> Feel hard in the lane. But uh, let's uh, let's let's get on because we all of us make up Gamers R Us, and so do a whole bunch of you guys. It is in your DNA. Make sure you check us out at GamersRUs.com for all the latest news and commentary on video games. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Um, it is Monday. Or wow, no, that it is Monday, February third. <laughs> 2014 despite what this says <laughs> but we are we are here to talk to you specifically today about uh something we found online a couple days ago um the uk's office of fair trading said that it had planned to investigate free-to-play apps and games aimed at children um so i'm going to break this down because this is a pretty in-depth thing that's happening right now and i want to see i want to see what we have uh, our ideas on it so basically they're looking into whether um, children are being unfairly pressured into buying additional content or virtual currencies for free games or being wrongly encouraged to do so. Um, so the company published a f its final eight principles online and in game apps warning online game companies that the games must uh, meet these principles by April 1st. Um, that's basically the gist of it and then I'll, I'm going to go over a couple principles because I think we should kind of know what the gist of this says. Um, the first one is information about the costs associated with the game should be provided clearly, accurately, and prominently up front before the consumer begins to play, download, or sign up. Uh, principle two, all material information about the game should be provided clearly, uh, should be provided clearly, accurately, and prominently up front before the customer begins to play, download, or sign in. Um, information about the game business should be provided clearly and accurately uh, up front before the consumer begins to play, same kind of thing. Um, the commercial intent of any in-game promotion for paid content or promotion uh, should be clear and indistinguishable from gameplay. Um, a game should not include direct ex exhort exhortations I, yeah, um, to children or make a purchase or persuade others that make them for them. Um, and principle eight is payment should not be taken from the payment account holder unless authorized. That's a big one. Yes, a payment made in game is not authorized unless express informed consent for that payment has been given by the payment account holder. Um, so, I mean, pick one of these out. Where should we? Where should we begin? You mentioned you like the last one on that list. Uh, 
you know, there's so many incidents every single day with online uh, purchases when it comes to those games, and kids don't know what's going on, and parents are crying their eyes out that their kid accidentally <laughs> spent several thousand dollars on their account because they weren't paying attention. You've really got to pull the reins on that kind of stuff. I mean, if you ever play Wizard 101 and some of those kids' games aimed at kids, I mean, there's a lot. And yeah. there's a lot more than I thought. It's like a whole different planet. I mean, <laughs> Minecraft was just the beginning. <laughs> but, and that, was like I, they really need to buckle down. I mean, th- my personal hit was, you know, uh, not being taken from a payment account holder. Uh, authoriz- authorized purchases, they need to make it much more detailed. You know, the parent really needs to be there. Or if you're going to give the kid buying power somehow, you know, have some limitations. If there's any weird or, you know, over-the-top purchases, you've got to cut that out. Yeah, I think I think the point is they want they don't want these kids to be extorted, and um, I think I think uh, I I think that like you know, as long as the game what they say is as long as the game clearly states what is going to go on, I think that's a good thing in a sense. But Drew, what do you think? I mean, through like four of these, we see the phrasing provided clearly, accurately, and prominently yep. up front, mm-hmm. and I think that's what these are mainly about: is making it clear what's happening. And it's, it's accurate about what's going on and also separating microtransactions from the actual gameplay itself. So you realize what you're doing is not a game mechanic. It's outside of the game. You're paying money for it. I personally would like to see these games like have a checkbox. You could check it off and just not have microtransactions in the game. Right. Not, even, not even see them. Shut yeah, it shut it off. I do not intend shut to spend off. money on this free game. Parental, like... Uh, and then your kid, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. That, that is a great point. You can do that on things like PlayStation and Xbox Live. You can say, this account cannot purchase something. Period. It's over. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Gustav, over there? Um... Exhortation. What does that mean exactly? It's like a, a, a Ex- speaking oh. event. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, yeah. So they shouldn't basically say to the kids, you know, you, hey, kid, buy this. Buy this, yeah. <laughs> like, but I mean, doesn't that yeah. happen with breakfast cereal? I mean, that's, that's okay. Cereal. That's something I want to get into. I'm sorry. Huh? I, mean, no. they, 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 I mean, look at Skylanders. Look at Infinity. Oh, yes, yeah. Skylanders. Starting them yeah. now. I that's mean, insane. Yeah. I, I, I listen. I, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm guilty. My little six-year-old nephew has like <laughs> literally thirty toys, but still. Uh, and you probably help him buy them too, right? Help is a strong word. <laughs> he enables him. Yes, I allow him. <laughs> Enables an a weaker word. <laughs> it's a weaker word. We're creating large amounts of kid crack here. Okay? <laughs> no, no, no. It's on. And, you know, it, it, it teaches. I think what they're trying to get to is, I mean, the UK is very big on child psychology and, you know, how kids are being developed. You're leading mm. them down a path that's very dangerous for, you know, their teen years and their adult years about what they think is valuable. And, you know, if you, if you don't stop it now, you really may have a problem on your hands. I mean, the US is just like, yeah, whatever. But I'm sure the UK with... With no offense again, with such high education standards, probably saw a problem a long time ago and want to stop it now. Yeah. So yeah. if there's one thing about the U.S., it's wherever money's being made, they don't really like to step in that much. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's consult True. the voice from above. Alex, what are you thinking on this? Yeah, Alex is actually. Uh, oh, Alex! Alex yeah, cut out. Cut but out. What? What? I. That's that's what I think. I think there's no. Honestly, it's okay. Like that they want to do this, but. It's not laws, it's guidelines. Um, I don't know what the grounds for getting in trouble for it would be. Um, The reason they want to do it is they want to avoid regulations becoming misaligned with the rest of the world or damaging risking culturally and artistically rich, high-tech, and highly skilled video game industry. You know, they don't want the video game industry to be hurt by this, but also, I don't want government in my video games. I think that the ESRB is, is, I mean, I know that it's not a part of the government, and I think they handle it very well in the sense that it's not a part of the government. I'd say, why don't we as games, as, uh, as intelligent game people, form some type of committee right. that can oversee this rather than the government? There are online committees right now for parents who, you know, with kids, who don't really understand a lot of games. Uh-huh. It does help them out with uh, a lot of the things they just don't know. I mean, I'm lucky. I don't have children yet. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even married yet. <laughs> but you know, the day that you know it comes that my child wants to play a game and you know, has friends coming over, I'm gonna be okay with being able to you know understand what's going on, what he or she's getting into. I'm gonna be okay with that. Now, talk about a lot of other parents completely blind, just give them the game. It's gonna be their babysitter, and they're gonna be completely lost. You're right. There needs to be more of an outcry of. Let's let's help these parents out before a lot of mistakes start to happen. Non-refundable mistakes. Well, I like where you're going with this, Eric, because in America we often have the government and en- government entities not coming from the government themselves, but also coming from inside the industry. Like exactly. the MPAA and ESRB are both run within the industry, so mm-hmm. that the government doesn't have to step in. And 
though they put out this great uh, statement about not risking damaging the cultural and artistically rich, high-tech, and highly skilled video game industry, I still am kind of balking at this because the the UK system has become so censored over the past few years, especially with like their pornography ban. Oh yeah. Recently, a oh, League of Legends I catch about wouldn't that. even work on anyone's computer because the presence of sex in some of the file names. It wasn't wow. even sex. It was the Just word the... varus extra skin because oh S, E, and X God. came together in the really? same thing. It wouldn't allow the computers to access the files. Wow. UK people couldn't play League of Legends after that patch in, came out. In talk, talk about League of Legends, also, that's a, that's a free-to-play game, right? You know, nothing in that game is saying, hey, buy me. But when you go to click, like, to, to buy something, it says, hey, do you want to use this points or this points? And you're like... An uninformed person would go, hey, I don't know the difference. I'm going to use these. Oh, I have to pay money anyway. Like Adrian, I had to explain Adrian the difference between the, you know, the IP and riot the, points and yeah, influence not, points. Yeah. Yep. So, I think that it's it's more. It, I think to put this on the government and the government needs to shut this down and fix it. With, like we still at the end of the day are consumers and you have to be an informed consumer. And I don't think the government should be parenting for anyone. I think that if you like you said you're going to be paying attention to what your kids play. And I think that's part of if your children have an interest, the parent should have an interest in to do it too. And the government should not be parenting for you. Yeah. Honestly, the government's always kind of governed in sort of a dumb state. They're not experts on the things that they exactly. govern on. We can't have Supreme Court justices making rulings on. On these things when they don't really understand the industry but the ESRB I'd be happy to let them take a shot at it you know because they they know how to rate games they've got a great system for it they know the industry the people who work for the ESRB came from the industry yeah I'd be okay with something like that mm -hmm. I mean half these guys don't know how to work you know don't understand nuclear weapons yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is true this is you true know. though yeah um, I think I think a key they say they want to they don't want to damage the cultural and artistic uh, integrity of video game industry and then put regulations on it doesn't work in the same sentence to me. We want to regulate, but not risk damaging. They've already proven they can't regulate yeah. well with this like last thing <laughs> with the League of Legends patch. That's crazy. People had to contact their service providers and ask to have their porn filters taken down so oh, that they could download uh, oh. the League of Legends. And that's patch. ridiculous. So, and that that's humiliating. Like, hey, by the way, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys are doing right now, but I really want to watch a particular video. <laughs> In some cases, it's a lot of children who have to ask sure, their parents to do this. Sure, you're playing League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for looking over our shoulder, UK. That was really beneficial for everyone. Yeah. No, so so what do we think? This is in the UK. They want to they want to push it to uh, the US at some point. Where are we open? Are we receptive uh, to the idea of the government? Are we all kind of leaning towards hey, let's let's have the video game industry itself handle it? I'm. I mean, we're going to go down the line and vote. The video game industry needs to handle it. We are our own industry. You know, we're 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 getting older. Um, we're all getting married and having kids, and this yeah. is going to be something we're going to deal with. We need to handle it. I, I completely agree. I don't think a six-year-old man should be deciding what my kids play. If I ever have them, then I want to decide what they play, and if they want to. And also, I think that some games, you know, like uh, games that are free to play do kind of shove money in your face, but it's about knowing when you want to spend it or not. I think it's up to the person. Yeah, ESRB, take care of it. iTunes Store, take a look at what you're selling. Make sure it's all legit. Yeah. Hell, I'll even start a committee and do it. I mean, <laughs> if the money's right, yeah, right, I'll be there as a professional for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I mean, we live in America where everybody should do what they choose. I mean, other than hurting somebody, you should be able to buy as many whatever candy crush points or whatever to pass the level as you want so um <laughs> you can be yeah. as casual as you want to be <laughs> yeah the most player. but yeah i agree with you guys i think uh that's a strong point that you know everybody that's in the gamer the gaming industry and has grown up with it feels that they have the you know control that they can choose their own experience yeah Definitely. Uh, any any final thoughts on this topic? Man, I wish we had Alex here because he'd yeah. certainly be stirring up some controversy. So, yeah, so Ale <laughs> Alex was saying, Alex was, uh, I, I, if I might take words from his mouth, he might be upset with me, but he thinks he thinks this is a good thing. He thinks there this is ruining the industry and oh, that that and it, and it would help. Um, I think we all, we all are looking at it the other way. Uh, I would love to hear his response. Maybe he can do a rant of the week on this, and we can hear his response. Or any of you listeners out there yeah, who have I, the I other also, side of the... I would love to, yeah, I'd love to see the other side of this argument. Yeah, we, I gotta say, yeah, we'd love to hear from more parents. I, you mean, yeah, oh, right? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, us, like, we're nobody compared yeah, to we that. Can't, we don't get it. Day -day. They yeah, see we don't get it. They see the cell phone bills, and they see all of that. So, we don't get that $100 bill to iTunes on, uh, you know... On our, on our mind. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I want to uh, thank our fans for watching this episode of the podcast. Um, we will have, uh, but we will have one more coming up this week. Um, I want sh- to make a special shout out to uh, Adrian and his BNN class for checking us out. Um, we are gonna go to a commercial and come back with a new one, but uh, for the time being, we are cutting this one short, and we're gonna start a new one later, which is going to be about um, what comes first: uh, gamers or the games who are consoles. You know, a kind of chicken and the egg situation. Um, but that's when we get back. But I want to thank uh, Andy. I want to thank Drew. I want to thank Gustavo. I want to thank Frank and James. Uh, I also want to thank the Microsoft Store and a shout out to Replayed. Make sure you check us out at GamersRUs.com and follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of these podcasts and up to the minute news. Um, we will be right back. Something that people